Hi, Dr. Betty Brown here, and the topic is post-impressionism. As I'm sure you know, impressionism was an early avant-garde art movement. It began in the late 19th century in France, where artists like Claude Monet were inspired by their predecessors, Gustave Courbet and Edward Manet, to create images of their own daily realities. Monet was in love with light and color, and he sought to capture the fleeting impressions of light and color as they played across a harbor or a picnic ground. That was Impressionism, but Post-Impressionism was the next generation of avant-garde artists, and it was dominated by immense personalities like Paul Gauguin and Vincent van Gogh and Paul Cezanne, and they all took different approaches. Gauguin sought symbolism in a what he called primitive life, whether it was the, in northern France or Tahiti. Van Gogh sought to infuse his paintings with deeply felt, passionate emotions so that he could portray the evil in men's souls and the way the divine touches our daily experience. And Paul Cezanne, anticipating cubism, sought to analyze the structure and form of apples and tables and a mountain that he saw outside his studio window. Post-Impressionism, second generation of avant-garde artists located in France, taking a whole lot of different approaches, building on the advances of the Impressionists before them.